we are live from Lagos, Nigeria. This is Plus Sports and Plus TV Africa. I've got Okoye Adebari on the show, and it's good to have you with us. Thank you, Doka. Good morning. Yeah, I'm Doka Njoku. And a piece of uh, sad news broke in the world of sports yesterday. Argentine soccer legend Diego Maradona died on Wednesday, less than a month after his 60th, uh, 60th birthday, following a heart attack at his home in Buenos Aires. The World Cup winner is described by many as the best ever soccer player and his greatest achievements came at the 1986 World Cup where he was instrumental in Argentina's eventual victory. In the quarterfinal against England, he scored two of the most famous goals of all time. First came the notorious hand of God where he punched the ball into the net, followed, followed by a sublime solo dribbling effort past most of the opposition before hitting the targets. I would say may his gentle soul rest in peace. Football legend Diego Maradona, one of the greatest players of all time, has died at the age of 60. Former Argentina attacking midfielder and manager suffered a heart attack at his Buenos Aires home. He had successful surgery on a brain blood clot earlier in November and was to be treated for alcohol dependency. Maradona was captain when Argentina won the 1986 World Cup, scoring the famous Hand of God goal against England in the quarter-finals. Maradona played for Barcelona and Napoli during his club career, winning two Serie A titles with the Italian side. He scored 34 goals in 91 appearances for Argentina, representing them in four World Cups. Maradona led his country to the 1990 final in Italy, where they were beaten by West Germany, before captaining them again in the United States in 1994, but was sent home after failing a drug test for ephedrine. During the second half of his career, Maradona struggled with cocaine addiction and was banned for 15 months after testing positive for the drug in 1991. He retired from professional football in 1997 on his 37th birthday during his second stint at Argentine giant Boca Juniors. Having briefly managed two sides in Argentina during his playing career, Maradona was appointed head coach of the national team in 2008 and left after the 2010 World Cup where his side were beaten by Germany in the quarter-finals. He subsequently managed teams in the United Arab Emirates and Mexico and was in charge of Gymnasia Yes Grisma in Argentina's top flight at the time of his death. He was an everyman Argentine who lived out in national fantasy with the way he scored his two goals in that 1986 quarter-final win over England. Scoring two goals against that opponent turned Maradona almost into a deity in the eyes of some of his compatriots with disastrous consequences. Living the aftermath was not easy. Without the discipline of football, the second half of his life was a chaotic affair. But it was in football what he seemed to find his peace. As a fan, he would turn up at the stadium of his beloved Boca Juniors, take off his shirt, swirl it around his head, and lead the chanting. For many, his spontaneity and fallibility were part of the appeal. His admirers thrived on the way he would fall down only to get back up again. It humanized a figure whose epic life was as mazy as one of his left-footed dribbles. The world of football will never forget Diego Armando Maradona. Well, uh, may his soul rest in peace. I remember he also edged out his great Brazilian rival, Pelé, to be named FIFA's player of the century. Maradona and football. It felt like Maradona created football because mm. of how he used to play, how he took the game very serious and very passionate about the game. Won trophies for his clubs, Napoli and Barcelona, also for Argentina and playing for Boca Juniors as well. Um, this man is, he was a legend. I would still say he's a legend. He's a living legend. Um, I, I must say he, he's, he's, his soul will continue to live forever. I'm actually short of words because mm. um, I'm being very emotional right now, but hey, legend has passed on. Definitely. I mean, I saw the news breaking yesterday yeah. and I was so sad. Um, I was lost for words at that. Um, gone too soon, definitely, mm. my own opinion. The epitome of football and um, attacking football. He made that number 10 jersey so famous, even after Pele had taken it to a certain level, but then he took it to a whole new level. We're talking about playmakers, we're talking about set peacemakers. 
he is someone who has been an inspiration to so many footballers. I mean, talking about the likes of Juan Roman Raquel, Pablo mm -hmm. Aymar, and Lionel Messi currently today, a lot of football players are who they are because they looked up to Maradona. True. He was an inspiration to so many, not just football players, but to fans and to just normal human beings. I mean, this is a major reason why there is a current and ongoing three-day morning uh, in Argentina because he is that global icon. <clears throat> Excuse me, despite his shortcomings, he was such a lovable person. That energy, that infectious character, you mm -hmm. just have to love it. Even the English people, look, at the end of the day, they had to forgive him mm -hmm. because simply he's just that lovable person. Yeah. And I think uh, probably his greatest impact on the world of football was just being charismatic enough and winning everything winnable. Mm -hmm. Just to think about it, at club level and for his country as well. I mean, up until last year, he was the highest goal scorer for Napoli until Dries Mertens broke the record. Broke it, yeah. And then he has done so many great things for Boca Juniors. He's a major reason why most top flight uh, Argent Argentine strikers always go back to Boca Juniors to end their career. Mm -hmm. That's a major reason why Carlos Tevez is there to don that number 10 jersey. I mean, the lives that he has impacted, I didn't watch him play live, but then looking at the clips, the magic that he performed, mm -hmm. and I can see where Messi gets a lot of his, a lot of his inspiration and skills from. Yeah. So simply sublime, and may his soul continue to rest in peace. True, may his soul rest in peace. But there's something that bothers me. You know, when a legend in uh, uh, sports passes on, they tend to retire the jersey. That's more mm -hmm. like the best honor that the club can give to the player or sportsman who has passed on. Remember when Kobe Bryant died, um, they rested, they had to retire the number 24 and the number 8 jersey. Now, <laughs> the number 10 jersey, when you talk about the number 10 jersey, Maradona, you can't talk about number 10 and not mention Diego Maradona. He was one of those football players who made the number 10 jersey popular uh, amongst the likes of um, Pele, um, Lionel Messi. Now, do you think that Argentina will because i think they should they should yeah. retire the jersey but do you think they will retire that number 10 jersey not because he's diego maradona but because of the significance of that number 10 position in a football team i don't think they want to retire it they will only retire that number if Lionel messi himself offers to retire that number in my own opinion because currently football is way more than what it used to be before mm. there's a um, there's a lot that is attached to it because the number 10 for messi is currently a brand mm -hmm. you know and he still plays for Argentina currently, even though he has retired once or twice, but currently he's a member of the international setup. Now, unless he willingly offers, mm -hmm. I don't see that an Argentina Football Association actually saying they're going to retire that number 10 jersey. Even if they do want to do that, it has to be with the consent of Lionel Messi because, yeah. I mean, business is involved in this. Sadly, this is what the food, world of football has come to. But then again, Messi's consent will be needed. But then I can imagine that Messi wants to do anything whatsoever uh, to pay tribute to his to his legend and his hero. So maybe we just might see that happen. However, it's highly unlikely, but you might never know. The coming days will tell. Well, I, I really think it shouldn't be, I think it should be something that should not be argued at all. Maradona wore the number 10 jersey for Argentina and uh, the due honor should be that they retire the jersey. Except there's something bigger that will happen. Maybe they will rename the Argentine stadium after him, but the number 10 jersey, if you ask me, I think he should be retired. But of course, uh, it's confirmed that the Napoli Stadium, Sao Paulo, will also be renamed in honor of Diego Armando Maradona.